So now we are going to extend this and now we are going to understand it what is the enhanced dynamic content block. Okay, so this is just the extended version of the dynamic content block. So if you're clear with this, uh, you will not face um, any issues understanding the enhanced dynamic content block. So let's take a look at it. Now, um, you must have seen that, okay, we only use two different locations, right? Delhi and uh, Hyderabad. Uh, we can, let's say if we have 50 different locations and based on the 50 different locations, we want to show that, uh, okay, these are the nearby stores. Then it would be a very tedious task, right? Uh, first of all, we have to create all these 50 content blocks and then we have to create the mapping. I mean, we have to configure the uh, dynamic content block. We have to create all these rules. So it will be very, you know, time taking process. And also from the maintenance uh, perspective, like it would be very uh, tedious tasks. Uh, so we have the other alternative that in case we have multiple conditions, uh, then we can go ahead with the enhanced dynamic content block. So what is the entire process? How we can configure this? Uh, let's understand this one by one. So first of all, uh, what we need to do, we need to have one CSV file in which we have to define all these conditions. So, so in this CSV file, uh, let me delete this column. Uh, we have two columns. One is the city and another one is the content. So this is where we are going to define the criteria and based on that, it is going to create the content blocks. Okay, so if city is equal to Pune, then what will happen? It is going to create this particular content block and it will show uh, this content block to the subscriber. So let me go here and copy the content. So now we are going to achieve the same thing with the help of the enhanced enemy content block, uh, but it can be extended as well. So let's say if city is equal to Hyderabad and we have the content over here. Okay, and if city is equal to Delhi or let me make it new Delhi, right? So let me go here. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it over here. Right, and let's say for Nagpur, um, you can have uh, two cities, right? Uh, two places, let's say Nagpur, place one. And Nagpur place two. Uh, so we have city uh, Hyderabad, Nagpur, New Delhi, and if it is default, uh, then we are going to show a different message that is uh, this one default location block. So we are going to copy this message from here and paste it over there. So let me just add this. So now we have the sheet ready. Uh, so what we need to do, uh, we have to define the condition. And then uh, what will happen whenever we will, you know, complete this process, um, the respective content blocks will be created in the uh, account. So we don't need to create the, all these text blocks uh, manually. All these text blocks will be created automatically by the system. So uh, let me save the changes and then I'll have to copy this file and I'll paste it over here. Uh, I'll say replace. Okay. Now um, let's go to marketing cloud. Uh, I'll change to location rules.
remove that is fine okay now for what we need to do first of all we need to upload this mapping uh so we'll have to go to upload and then here we have this option in our journey content so here we need to upload this csv file uh so we will click on browse button we will select this file location rules okay and it has to be a csv file now on the next step data preparation what we are telling is that this particular uh, column is being used as a condition to create the condition um, and then the next block or the next column which is the content we are using this to create the blocks so it is asking that okay which uh, field you want to use to create the content blocks and which field you want to use to uh, create the condition so what we are saying is that we want to use this as a um, uh, content block so it will do what it will do it will create the text content blocks for all these uh, values that we have in this particular column or whatever the field that will make it as a primary key uh, it will not create the uh, respective content blocks but it will be used as a condition so now we will go ahead and click on the next button uh, this audience linking i'll show you in a while and then next button so we can review if everything looks good you can click on the input. Okay. So we can click on the import button now. Okay. So now import is successful. Um, and you can see the mapping here. Okay. So this is the mapping uh, that, or this is the map that we can see that we have uploaded. Now we are going to use this map in our, in our dynamic content block. So we'll click on the create button. We'll go to the content blocks. We'll click on the enhanced anime content. And here we will choose the mapping that we have just uploaded. So we'll go to our folder. And here we have this uh, mapping. We click on this and select. So now, as we can see, so as we can see, uh, the default content it is showing us this thing uh, if it is equals to hyderabad then it is showing this thing if it is nagpur then it is showing this thing okay and if it is new delhi then it is showing this thing okay so we have saved a lot of time in creating a different content blocks you don't need to uh, create all these rules so everything is done we just have to take care of the file now uh, here what we have done is that we have set the field in the file uh, the field name in the file is city so we need to map the field name right so that it is uh, the data is taken from the data extension field so what we'll say that we'll choose the data extension and in the data extension we have a data extension called amazon customers So what is the source of data? So we say that uh, this is the value in the data extension from where the data is coming. And we have to map this file with the city column in our CSV file. So we have to map the file in our data extension and the CSV file so that we know, okay, uh, so this is how the criteria is defined. And this is the field from where the data is coming. Now we'll click on the done button. Now this mapping is done. I'll save the changes. I'll say enhanced dynamic demo and click on the save button. Um, I'll go to the email message now with the same email message this one now i'm going to drag and drop this enhanced anime content block to see the results that whether we are getting the same result or not so i'll go to the content tab i'll drag and drop this content block that we have just created enhanced anime demo and then drop it over here I'll do the preview and test to see 
the preview for different subscribers. So now the, now the above one is from the, so now we can see, uh, this is from the uh, dynamic content block and this um, uh, data is coming from the enhanced dynamic content block. So we can see the same result. And when we click on the next subscriber, so it says this thing that if the city is equal to New Delhi, when we go to the next, uh, it says that we show the location. Okay. So the difference between the dynamic. Okay. Uh, let me tell you the reason. So the first difference is that uh, in case of the uh, dynamic content block, we are not just limited to the text or the image content block. Uh, at the time of the building enhanced dynamic content block, uh, we either can have the text block or the image block, uh, but we cannot have, well, let's say, image carousel, uh, we cannot have the uh, you know, HTML, or we cannot have the free forms. So we cannot have any other content block, either text or the image in case of enhanced dynamic content block. Uh, but if you're choosing the dynamic content block, we can have any type of content block. Uh, and uh, what which, which one we should use in which scenarios so if we have just you know two or three uh different uh condition then we can go ahead with the in dynamic content block uh in case let's say generally we use a uh, dynamic content block to show the content in different languages so when a company you know has business in multiple countries uh let's say india us or maybe you know, Spain, like in spain germany and then we, we, the German customers, they want to uh, see the content in German and uh, there are a few customers who want to see the content in Spanish. So based on their language preference, uh, we can show them the content. So generally, so let's say 50% of the customers prefer English and the rest of the customers prefer the Spanish language. So if we have just only two conditions, that if the language, the preferred language is English, then show the content in English. If the preferred language is Spanish, then show the Spanish content. So in that case, we will choose a dynamic content block and we will not go ahead with the enhanced dynamic content. But in case we have multiple conditions, then we'll go ahead with the enhanced dynamic. 